A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We feel we must be continually thanking God for you, brothers quite rightly because your faith is growing so wonderfully and the love that you have for one another never stops increasing and among the churches of God 
We can take special pride in you for your constancy and faith under all the persecutions and troubles you have to bear. It all shows that God's judgment is just and the purpose of it is that you may be found worthy of the kingdom of God. It is for the sake of this that you are suffering now. We pray continually that our God will, by his power, fulfill all your desires for goodness and complete all that you have been doing through faith. Because in this way, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be glorified in you and you in him by the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. The wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Say to the Lord all the earth. Oh, say to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Jesus said, Alas for you scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who shut up the kingdom of heaven in men's faces, neither going in yourselves nor allowing others to go in who want to. Alas for you scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who travel over sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when you have him, you make him twice as fit for hell as you are. Alas for you blind guides, you who say if a man swears by the temple, it has no force. But if a man swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound. Fools and blind, for which is of greater worth, the gold or the temple that makes the gold sacred, or else if a man swears by the altar, it has no force. But if a man swears by the offering that is on the altar, he is bound. You blind men, which is of greater worth, the offering or the altar that makes the offering sacred? Therefore when a man swears by the altar, he is swearing by that and by everything on it. And when a man swears by the temple, he is swearing by that and by the one who dwells in it. And when a man swears by heaven, he is swearing by the throne of God and by the one who is seated there. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be wondering why all these strange priests here today. 
We have three queens from Suriname. I will ask them to stand, please. These are my cousins from Suriname. They don't know I have my roots in Alvina. So we want to welcome them. And we have a priest from Trinidad, Father Harold Imamka. I knew him when he was a little boy. And then we have a priest from Jamaica, but is now the secretary of the province of Port of Spain, Father Donald Chaper. The four of us here are diocesan priests of this diocese. Why are we here? All the provinces in the Caribbean meet every year. Priests from the various provinces, we meet every year to share, to talk, to relax. We have not met for a long time, and COVID came and interrupted everything, but we're glad that we are here this time. Our meeting begins tomorrow, we will discuss all kinds of things, and so on. We'll go around Georgetown, we'll see a few places, and we get to know one another even more. It is important for brothers dwelling in unity that's what this conference is all about. We'll gather, we'll share, we enjoy each other's company. We are glad that you are here to support us with your prayers and your presence. It's important for us that you, the lay people, walk with us, work with us, pray with us, and support us. In some dioceses, they have many diocesan local priests. In some dioceses, they have a few. And sometimes, we are swamped by religious orders. But we meet together to share, to encourage, and to support one another. There was a time when I used to travel to Suriname every year. As soon as I came from the seminary, I used to travel to Suriname, the long way. And go there, spend some time, and then come back, then go back to study in Trinidad. The Suriname used to pass through here every year on the way from the seminary. We miss that. But flights have been through, so they can fly from Trinidad Back home. But we here in Guyana, we are working for the development of this diocese. And it's important that you know that some of us are overswamped with three or four or five or six communities. We need your prayer, we need your encouragement. We need your support. The diocesan priest is the backbone of the diocese. The bishop can put us where he wants us to go. He looks at our gifts and he says, this priest will be good in this parish, and that priest will be better in that parish. He can move us around as he wants. The religious priest helps him in his work too. But they have their own charism, they have their own works. We are the ones that the bishop depends on to fulfill his mission. We are very few, as you can see. We need to encourage more young men 
to be brave enough to say yes to the call. Not easy. Sometimes a young man comes to me and says, what do I get when I offer myself to the church? And I will say to them very shyly, nothing. And yet, it's a very satisfying vocation. If I have to start again, I'll do the same road, walk the same road, take the same challenges, because it's wonderful. If we had time, and each one of these three was to give uh, an account of their lives, I am sure they will say the same thing. I will walk the same road again, because it's wonderful to work for the Lord. As we say this Mass, I, offer, I ask you to offer this Mass for us as we meet this week, but also to support us and encourage us all through our lives. Let us pray. God our Father, we ask you to be with our meeting, the meeting of this providence of Port of Spain. Be with us, Lord, as we gather together this week. We ask you to send your light and your spirit upon us, that we may always do your will. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask you to be with us in the parishes in which we work, the work which we do. Help us, Lord, always do your will. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask you to bless the congregations that we have left for this week. Be with them, Lord, as they pray for us, as they continue the work that we have begun. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we bring before you the poor, the sick, the needy. We pray for all our brothers and sisters who are in trouble. We remember Haiti and all the other territories that are experiencing difficulty. We ask you, Lord, to send your spirit there that they may find a way, a solution to their problems. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, take care. We remember also our bishops, archbishops, all those who are leading us, that you shed your light upon them, that they may lead your people to holiness and goodness and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, take care. I pause for a while that you may come with your own prayers. God, our Heavenly Father, we, your sons and daughters, come before you with confidence. We bring you our gifts of bread and wine. Take them to your altar in heaven and make them holy. For we bring them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about the glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may receive the merit of, for, of, for, of your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great gladness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures praise you, and all the redeemed serve you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Therefore, 
O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make all person eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church owner with your servant Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departure brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our God, through whom you bestow the world, all that is good. him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we may bold to say.
God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring each one of us to life everlasting.
partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that confirmed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be going peace to love and serve the Lord.